take your ticket with you and pay inside. Hey, good morning, guys. Welcome to Skipper Surf Review. So, just got to American Dream Mall and I want to try to score today some waves at Scudin Surf Wave Pool. There's a trick if you want to score waves with less people, uh, you can just check online and see how many people sign up and then make a call. So, let's see what they have today. So we're gonna go to the website, squidinsurfamericandream.com and then you choose book now and today's date. You can also dif choose different dates and let's see what they have. So they have public session expert now at 7 a.m. Now it's 6.20, so 7 a.m. session, six people left, I mean six spots left. And if you go to details, you can check what this session includes. So two hour session, pricing is $250. And then there's gonna be 12 participants. So uh, if there are less people, so you're gonna have more waves. So you're gonna get 40 plus waves each if there are 12 people. Session is broken into 20 minutes of classic Gotham, 40 minutes of playgrounds, 40 minutes of happy hour, and another 20 minutes of playground classic. So that should be fun. I never tried this actual session. And let's see what they get. So thank you. All right, guys. So I uh, will be walking down through the American Dream Mall to the wave pool. All right, guys. So I'm gonna show you the wave pool. Yeah, it's currently flat, but they're gonna pump the waves soon. So excited, I can't believe like six people only for this session. I hope nobody signs up more. So we're gonna have more waves. And today I brought one board. Actually I brought two, but I just decided to leave it in my car. And I feel like this board might work better uh, to do some turns. Uh, so this is 5.5 five Simon Shapes Quadfish. I've done a review on this board. You can click on the link above. Uh, so, I also have Gil back. They always carry with me, and uh, I like this dry bag. This is a small, tiny one that I like to bring to the wave pool. So, and you can put some stuff in there. Uh, so, what I usually put in there, this stuff. So, poncho, rush guard and board shorts and here's like a war zap in case i ding my board so i can fix it quickly battery pack leash and tripod i'm gonna set it up right there by the pineapple that's the best spot to get some footage for the rights so we're gonna have a frames all kind of ways today and uh, of course the vax so i'm using saba handmade in venice california yeah one thing i wanted to tell you they have a complimentary silver cleaver you can take any board you want in case your board doesn't work you can switch out at any time wherever is available you can take it they have a lot of foamies yeah so I'm gonna set up the tripod and then come back and grab my board. Thank you. 
Wow, that was so fun, guys. I scored, can't believe. Got so many ways. <sighs> Hey, what's up guys? So I just got home, so tired and sleepy. I think I need to take a nap right after this video. I uh, just wanna give you a little bit of uh, feedback uh, of this session. Is it worth to book it? Uh, who is this session for? And what it included? Uh, so, uh, I never booked this session before. So this was my first time. I used to go f uh, to uh, advanced sessions and that was really fun. They had only two waves, basically, A-frame wave where two surfers split the peak and the wave comes every 15, 20 seconds. So you get a lot of turns and then there will be the second wave called Wall Street. Uh, this is like a kind of section wave uh, where everyone lines up against the wall and one surfer arrives uh, at a time. So uh, you have to wait for your turn. And I think the time between this each wave is about 30, 40 seconds, uh, something like that. Um, so if you have less people in the whole session, then you will get more waves. That's uh, kind of obvious. So this time we only had six people and it was amazing. And uh, if it had 12 people, I don't think I would book it. I would, actually, before driving, I checked the, um, the waves and uh, well, I, I mean, the, this, how many people sign up and I was like, oh, I hope no one signs up more. So basically, uh, what's happening is uh, this wave called Playgrounds, it's very advanced wave and hard to surf, uh, honestly. You do get a lot of waves like on the sides, uh, but they're very short and you can do kind of one turn maybe. Uh, but the middle section where you can get barreled is gets very steep and so fast. I saw even the structures were struggling. So I even tried to change the board and didn't help. So honestly, I'm not a fan of this wave. The next wave we surf, they called, I think called sections, or actually it doesn't have a name yet, uh, but it's really fun. Uh, it's kind of a uh, wall shit wave, but it has like a kind of bending kind of line uh, where you have a little bit of time to uh, generate speed to hit the last section where it explodes and you can ride over the foam or you can do the air. If you can, uh, then you will probably be stuck to, tr to do that. So I cannot do airs. I tried to do some roundhouse cutbacks and I was able to do that on the back side. My front side didn't even think about it. So I was just like speeding down the line and then wanted to hit the right. And then that section, I never actually rode it properly. So I was kept falling, uh, but it was fun. I mean, like surfing in the board shorts and the garage guard, it's amazing. And then we switched to uh, A-frame wave, uh, splitting the peak, it was kind of short, like a 10 minutes or 15 minutes, and then we move uh, back to playgrounds. And uh, I, I would say uh, if you are a beginner or even an intimidated beginner, I wouldn't even bother this session. Um, I would probably stick to uh, intermediate session or advanced session, uh, that way you will be able to um, get more friendly ways and less stress. So if, if you're expert, I mean, advanced surfer, intermediate and want to um, try something new, you can try it uh, and see if uh, how many people would sign up. Or if you are really desperate and want to go and catch some waves uh, and you will be fine with that, then go for it. So, but if we had 12 people, I don't think I would ever book this session. Uh, or maybe if it was like an eight, nine, that would probably the maximum amount of people I would go for it because you have to wait for uh, everyone to ride their wave um, when you do that section wave from uh, one side to another uh, so that wave doesn't come often. So I highly recommend to just go for the A-frame waves. You see A-frame waves, sometimes they do that session and you can just like ride the whole uh, session for two hours a frame splitting the peak sometimes there would be five regulars and I don't know how many like eight 
uh, goofy footers and the goofy footers would sit on the left and five Drago will be sitting on the right and you can just like score non-stop right so you can move back and forth uh, but there are more chances that you will get the more waves that way uh, just in my opinion and the board were great um, I mean I love that board uh, honestly it was like so quickly uh, redirecting I started as a quad and then I switched to the twin fin and the twin fin worked perfect at the wave pool so um, uh, if I go back again I'll probably bring the same board and uh, I'll be able to do some turns uh, so yeah guys if you have any questions suggestions you can comment down below or uh, you can hit me also on Instagram skip the surf review uh, thank you for your continuous support um, subscribe to my channel like this video uh, this helps this channel to grow and uh, I'll see you soon bye